Hello friends we are back with a new puzzle so in this puzzle i challenge you to pick some numbers and i will predict your number so let's see we have a 4 cross 4 table and we have numbers from 1 to 16 so if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so the first step is that you have to pick a number out of these you can pick any number but remember what number you picked then you have to pick another number in a different row and column so let's say if you pick 10 then you cannot pick any number in this row in in this row or this column so you cannot pick 2 6 or 14 similarly you cannot pick 9 11 or 12 if you picked 10 uh so for example you can pick 7 or you can pick 3 any number which is, is not in this row and this column so you pick a second number and again you pick a third number again this should be different from the rows and columns of first two numbers so if you pick 10 and you picked 8 then uh, the third number you can pick 1 because 1 is not in the row or column of 10 or 8 similarly you pick another number so you have to pick four numbers in total and each number should be in different row and each number should be in different columns so next step is that you should add all the four numbers that you picked and now comes the prediction so my prediction is that so first let's take an example let's say first number you picked is 10 next number you picked is 1 then 8 and let's say finally which number is left so first row you cannot pick second row third row done fourth row you have to pick so this column is occupied this column is occupied this is occupied so you have to pick 15 so my prediction is that the sum of the four numbers will be 34 and you can verify here so 15 plus 10 is 25 plus 8 is 33 plus 1 is 34 and this will be true irrespective of what numbers you picked so this is what i have predicted so i hope this is correct now let's see why this trick works so let's start with a case where we picked all the numbers on the diagonal so we picked 1 6 11 and 16 now if you add these you get 16 plus 11 is 27 then 6 is 33 plus 1 it's 34 So this is the case where you pick all the numbers on diagonals in different row and different column. So uh, let's say uh, so in this case in the first row you picked column number one. So these are column numbers one two three and four. First row you picked column number one. Second row you, you picked column number two. Third row column number three and fourth row column number four. So this is this was just one possibility. You can have any permutation of this. So let's say we write three two. Four one. Then first row pick three. Uh, this one. Second row pick from column two. That is six. Third row pick from column four. That is twelve. And fourth row pick from column one. Again you add thirteen plus twelve is twenty five plus nine is thirty four. So again in yellow color also thirty four. Similarly, you can have any other permutation of one, two, three, four, and that will result in thirty-four. And let's see why. So let's say uh, you pick number six in column in row number two. You are picking element of column number two. So if you go one step to the right, that is third column. That is larger by one unit. So if you go one step right. the number becomes larger by 1 unit if you go two steps right the number becomes larger by two units similarly if you go on the left side a lower column the number decreases in a given row so we are these numbers are columns corresponding to different rows row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 similarly this one so let's say a general case a general permutation of 1 2 3 4 is w x y z 
and these w x y z belong to 1 2 3 4 in some permutation so let's say in this case we have a value uh, so if it deviates from 1 so let's say this w was 3 then we have to subtract w minus 1 so that will be 2 so if w is 3 then it will be this number 3 so the ideal case the diagonal case was 1 so this is the difference so initial sum was for the diagonal the sum is 34 now we are counting the sum for this case so what will be the difference here for the first row it will be w minus 1 if w is some column if w is 1 then this will be 0 so same as the diagonal case so diagonal numbers are 1 6 11 and 16 so we are finding deviation from diagonal numbers so if w is 1 there is no deviation so it will be 0 similarly if in the second row the column number was x then for the diagonal case the column number was 2 so if the column number is let's say 4 it will be 2 larger so instead of 6 it will be 8 if it's 7 column number is 3 then it's 1 larger so the general formula would be x minus 2 2 is the column number corresponding to diagonal similarly for first row it was 1 then y minus 3 and z minus 4 now you add these you get 34 plus w plus x plus y plus z minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 that is minus 10 and w x y z are nothing but column numbers which are 1 2 3 4 so some permutation of 1 2 3 4 so the sum of these will be sum of 1 2 3 4 and irrespective of the order the sum will be 10 so for any permutation w x y z the sum is 34 plus 10 minus 10 that is 34 so that is how this trick works so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel